Listen. I sing the body electric. From Walt Whitman's poetry. Her voice is too high. I celebrate myself and sing myself. Again, Walt Whitman. Too low. The armies of those I love engirth me, and I engirth them. That's just right. That's it. And start thinking about Bradley. <laughs> You're right. Maybe if I looked at some poetry, it would help. I just have to get inspired. Poems of Emily Dickinson. <laughs> she can't be much. Look at the way she wears her hair. <laughs> Let's see. Beauty crowds me till I die. Beauty, mercy, have on me. But if I expire today, let it be in sight of thee. I don't understand a word of that. It must be good. <laughs> it's a beautiful poem. This is my letter to the world that never wrote to me. The simple news that nature told with tender majesty. Her message is committed to hands I cannot see. For love of her, sweet countrymen, judge tenderly of me. You see, there's a certain amount of life wisdom I give these boys. I can expand their minds. Sometimes when I've got a ball player alone, I'll just read Emily Dickinson or Walt Whitman to him. And the guys are so sweet, they always stay and listen. Of course, a guy will listen to anything if he thinks it's foreplay. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, Oh me, oh life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, oh me, oh life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists. What are you waiting for? To drive free, to love free, to court destruction with taunts, to feed the remainder of life with one hour of fullness and freedom, one brief hour of madness and joy. Would you like to dance? Here lies Walt Whitman! Ah, damn you, Walt Whitman! I hate you, Walt freaking Whitman! Leave the grass, my ass! I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness was like the stillness in the air between the heaves of storm. Breaths were gathering firm for that last, and I, I was king. Oh, for Pete's sake. No, if you don't respect my opinion that this writing is garbage, then maybe you'll believe some professionals. Mr. Twain? Quite amusing. Oh, stop reading Steamboat Fumes. <laughs> this essay's the thing. Oh, like you really wrote any of your own plays. <laughs> Miss Dickinson? This shows real talent. Shut in. <laughs> Dickinson. We never know how high we are. Oh, I know that. I know it. Well? We never know how high we are till we are called to rise. Good. Very good, John. And then if we are true to plan, our statues touch the skies. Excellent. Yes! Poems of the privacy of the night and of men like me, this poem Drooping, shy, and unseen, that I always carry, and that all men carry. Not bad for Whitman. Hey, look, you got a visitor. All right, now I'm going to read a corny one for you. For those of you that really want to walk out. What's this gal's name again? Oh, yeah, Emily Dickinson. <clears throat> I dwell in possibility. A fairer house than prose. More numerous of windows, superior for doors. 
of chambers as the cedars, impregnable of eye, and for an everlasting roof, the gambrels of the sky. Of visitors, the fairest, for occupation, this, the spreading wide my narrow hands to gather paradise. Pioneers, oh pioneers, come my tan-faced children, follow well in order, get your weapons ready. Have you your pistols? Have you your sharp-edged axes, pioneers, oh pioneers? For we cannot tarry here. We must march, my darlings. We must bear the brunt of danger. We, the youthful, sinewy races, all the rest on us depend. Pioneers, oh pioneers. Oh, you youths, Western youths, so impatient, full of action, full of manly pride and friendship. Plain I see you, Western youths, see you tramping with the foremost, pioneers. Oh, pioneers, we debouch upon a newer, mightier world, varied world, fresh and strong the world we seize. Pioneers, oh, pioneers. America, center of equal daughters, equal sons, all, all alike and good. Grow, ungrow. Young or old, strong, ample, fair, enduring, capable, rich, perennial with the earth, with freedom, law, and love. Good morning, Professor Whitman. Sorry, Mr. Winger. These won't cut it. Shazbot! I shall have... a birthday cake! Had I not already cried at the sunrise this morning, I would be weeping right now. What does that mean? You have not known what you are. You have slumbered upon yourself all your life. Your eyelids have been the same as closed most of the time. What you have done returns already in mockeries. The mockeries are not you. Underneath them and within them, I see you lurk. When I heard the learned astronomer, when the proofs, the figures were ranged in columns before me, when I was shown the charts and the diagrams to add, divide, and measure them, when I, sitting, heard the astronomer where he lectured, with much applause in the lecture room. How soon, unaccountable, I became tired and sick. Till rising and gliding out, I wandered off by myself in the mystical, moist night air. And from time to time, looked up in perfect silence at the stars. I help my mother and a many in the kitchen. I break bread, all the bread, because my father only likes mine. She was much too enigmatical a being for me to solve in an hour's interview, and an instinct told me that the slightest attempt at direct cross-examination would only make her withdrawal into her shell. I find ecstasy in living. The mere sense of living is joy enough. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know you're gonna try real hard to sound enlightened, but I just can't understand you. Maybe it's all the hyphens. How many dashes you gotta put into a poem? Your punctuation is painful, so put down the pen and go home. Yo, Holmes, you like Emily Dickinson? I'm looking at this battle here, and I think you should be quitting, son. You tripping, son. I'ma leave you screaming and kicking, son. It's a hit and run. Frost team gonna win, it's done. Oh, I think you look like you just got your salad tossed. You got your rhymes all slanted and your meters crisscross. Now, I could go on and on about Robert Frost, but I think it's over with. Envy, please, you just lost. Hey, you need to
to move. We have to work here. Uh, please, let's let's just talk outside. She's gone, Fanny. We'll exactly. get the unit you want to do. Fundraiser next year. She goes away. Oh, Captain, my captain. Oh, Captain, my captain. Oh, Captain, my captain. I don't know what that means. Just get up. I don't watch cable. Hi, I'm John Green, this is Crash Course Literature, and today we're going to talk about this lady, Emily Dickinson. I bequeath myself to the dirt to grow from the grass I love. If you want me again, look for me under your boot sole. You will hardly know who I am or what I mean. But I shall be good health to you, nevertheless, and filter and fiber your blood. Failing to fetch me at first, keep encouraged. Missing me one place, search another. I stop somewhere waiting for you.